Uh, so thank you very much indeed. Alistair Leith head there in Bangkok with the very latest. And still holding on the telephone, uh, Mio Tisan, who's the director of the Burma Democratic Concern. And I just wanted to ask you what you thought about those words we heard from Aung San Suu Kyi when she did come out. We must work together in unison to achieve our goals. So her fight continues, I would assume. Yes, um, it is true, and it is also a very good and very genuine message to not only to the generals in Burma, but also all the people in Burma and around the world that we must work together if we truly wanted to see the genuine national reconciliation in Burma. And so this is a very important message delivered to the junta in Burma as well, because the Aung Suu Kyi herself and also the National League for the Democracy, who won the election in 1990, always opened the door for the, for, for, for the, the genuine national reconciliation in Burma. And also she is always calling for to do the genuine dialogue in order to have the genuine national reconciliation. So this is a very first important message to the junta that we must work together. You cannot go ahead with your unilateral part. And also, uh, I would like to make, you know, very, um, I, I would like to also, you know, give the very important message, the timing of the release of our leader, Dr. Aung San Suu Kyi, that um, even last week, Junta and Burma held the election, Shan election, and the rich election, and, you know, as we expected, the, their, their crony party won the last slide. But, we also would like to give the message to the world leader that please do not recognize that election result. And also please do not recognize the government coming out from the, that, that election. We do have the election in 1990 in which our leader, the Aung San Suu Kyi, won the landslide victory. So the Aung San Suu Kyi must be the prime minister of the Burma in accordance with the 1990 election result. So this is a very important message to the world leader as well. Given the international uh, reaction we're hearing, world leaders welcoming this, but also warning the regime itself, do you think it's time for not just Western leaders, but I'm thinking maybe Eastern leaders, China and so forth, to come out more strongly? Yes, I do agree with that. Um, you know, Burma shares the border not only with the China, but also with the India and the ASEAN. And also, we cannot live isolated in the world. We live in the global village. So all the country around the world got the responsibility to put the pressure on the junta. So junta and Burma as well, they know very well that they cannot live alone. They cannot live isolated. So if the China, India, and all the ASEAN countries, as well as the Western countries, put the enough, the, the practical action on junta, yes, they have to take action and they have to open more space for the Dawn San Suu Kyi and all the you know, political activists in Burma. For the time being, we see only the world from the support of the you know, Western leader, of the ASEAN leader. We wanted to see the action, you know, um, or united action, concerted, put on the gender. Mayor Tassan, uh, thank you very much indeed for that. So uh, the voice of uh, the Burma democratic concern there. And the, the first picture you're seeing on your screen there, uh, those were the first still picture to come out. Um, after Aung San Suu Kyi was released. And as soon as more pictures are released, we will, of course, bring them to you. And just to repeat the news that Burma's pro-democracy leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, has been released after seven years of house arrest.